Happy Valentine's Day, people. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's Day. I hope it was filled with love, with sweetness. <laughs> Did you receive a gift? Did they buy you a gift? Did you receive presents? I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I didn't receive anything. <laughs> I don't receive anything. You know, I just thought to, you know, just share something about Valentine's Day. And just looking at it from the perspective of being married. Uh, thinking of, like, being single and being married. The difference. And how you can actually get to a point, like, in your marriage that you kind of... I'm not, I'm not going to say careless. I don't know, like... You care less about all that, like you function on important things, you know. It's so funny, you know. <clears throat> we went to church, we were coming back, and by saying my husband, we were having a conversation. Then I told him that I said, if there is anything that I would have really love for Valentine, is actually for just both of us to just go out and just go eat, just go out for like just go out and just eat. I would just eat out, you know, but not with, not with the children, but of course. I have three babies and they are all you know they are young they are six older you know, they are six four and two about to be three so of course i can't i don't want to take them out on valentine's day like it's me and my husband <laughs> but i show them love too right but so but i am more on this side of like just me and my husband going out to just go you know eat but we don't have help you know we don't have anybody that we can drop them with our home, I was like, let us just go out and come back. So, if there's anything that I would have really loved for Valentine, it would be actually to go out and just eat, and not actually the gift. Okay, if I had accepted gift, if I was given gift by my husband, would I have appreciated it? Absolutely. But, do not buy me Valentine's gift. You don't even say, ah, Jojo, what do you want for the Valentine's gift? You don't ask. And so, be safe. I don't even talk about it. I don't even mention anything about it. So, I just want to say something about you know to couple like you because and I feel like it, it might depend on what the person's love language is, right? Maybe the spouse, like actually for a woman, maybe our love language is actually gifts. Like, no, buy me gifts. I want you to buy me gifts. So there are women like that, right? They love gifts. It makes them happy. It doesn't mean that they are bad person. They are maybe they are bad or something. Is their love language is something that they love, and there's some of us that we don't even send gifts. If you give me a gift or you don't give me a gift, so we move like I care less. Because I remember, like I think it was my like my birthday last two years birthday or I'm last but last three years birthday and my last two years they don't last year birthday. That my husband asked me like, oh, so what would you like to get to you for your birthday? And to be honest, I didn't even think, I couldn't even think about anything. I just said, I didn't want anything. He was really surprised like. How would you say you don't want anything? And to be honest, I couldn't think of one thing. But eventually I told him, you know what? Buy me a mala, like food. Let me just eat. And I ate. Like these days, my, my love language is self-care. Just let me go out by self-care. Let me just go enjoy myself. Let me go out my massage. Have my pedicure. I buy something. I just come back home and sleep. I love the door. Nobody bothers me. That is my love language. So that makes me happy. That's that boosts my energy. It gives me, it keeps me going. So I love that a lot. Like when I have some movement just for myself. So, so to, that be the case for me. So just looking at Valentine and seeing how so married women, this might actually bring a big problem in some marriages. So women might think less of themselves and feel like because the man did buy them gifts, maybe because the man did, she doesn't cherish you. Maybe the man doesn't love you or anything. And even from a man's perspective too. But I don't think you should think about it like that. Like you, you don't get a gift. It, so I don't think it's it's um it's it, it I don't think it's it make any difference in the home. It shouldn't make any difference in the home if you get a gift or not. And it doesn't make you feel like does your spouse doesn't appreciate it because no matter what thing you have to first appreciate yourself. You appreciate yourself, you love yourself so if there was anything that to be honest that i would love to do apart from me and my husband we would have, like say as i have right now like since i can't go with my husband because we don't have anywhere to drop the children 
there is anything that personally that I would like to do is actually me going for self care. To be honest, just for body massage or do like on February 14th, body me. Just go and enjoy myself and come back home and sleep and relax and I just enjoy my life and not with the to change your to you. I don't want anybody to come and bother me. Let me sleep. <laughs> you know, that's something that I would love to do now, but even though I didn't do it, you know. So that is what I would have known. So take care of yourself, love yourself, value yourself. The fact that you don't get a gift doesn't make you doesn't make you doesn't mean you should feel less of yourself. You are unique, you are different, you are based. The Bible says you are a royal priesthood, you are a holy nation. He has called you out of darkness into his perfect light. Imagine that is who he is said he has said that you are. So you cannot afford to think less of yourself because you don't get gifts. You cannot afford to think less of yourself because you feel like uh okay, uh you don't feel well appreciated, you know. It's a good thing to get gay, but if you don't, don't make it feel like it because you are less of a person or you are, you are, you know, you are, you get you know what I'm saying? Like, don't make, don't think about it. That's the point. Like, don't think about it. It's a day. Like my husband would say, my husband would say, hey, you know, hey, Valentine's Day hey, is every day is Valentine's Day. That is a don't buy the man when the man say that to. It's an excuse not to buy you gifts. That's my husband told me. It's an excuse not to buy you gifts. That's what they will say to you. It's an excuse. I told you, I told you, it's an excuse not to buy me gifts. But it's okay. <laughs> so, but it is an excuse for a man to say that, like, every day, but it's like, no, because you don't buy me gifts every day. So. <laughs> but this is the point I'm trying to make. Like, even when you don't get those, like, the gifts that you want to get, doesn't be, don't let it affect your home, don't let it affect your marriage, don't let it affect your relationship. Still be you, love yourself. Let your marriage still blossom the way it blossoms. Even let it be better. Don't even think about it, don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on it. I, I remember, yes, I will be, my, my sister and Trisha made a video about this years ago. I remember that you were saying this year. I, I believe it was like four years ago, if I'm more wrong. I said, you, this year, you must buy me Valentine gift. They will not that I'll I'll put the picture of the Valentine gift that he got to me. I said, this year, you must buy me Valentine gift. I'm not green. I said, she didn't buy me the Valentine gift. So he bought me chocolate and once more. <laughs> then they told me that he said, me, that he, he bought the gift for me on that dress. <laughs> they was put on that pressure. He said, he was put under pressure. He said, he gives, he doesn't, he doesn't look from his mind. He becomes the way I <laughs> But so, if you can do that to your spouse, talk, let him buy you, he do it. <laughs> but I don't have energy for that anymore. <laughs> I don't have energy for that anymore. So, I don't stress it. I don't, I don't even have myself. Because I remember, like, my mother is not a gift person, okay? He's not buy buy you, give, buy you, give. He's not that kind of a person, you know? But surprisingly, and you see, I don't bother him for it. I didn't bother him like you don't buy me gift. I don't. I don't let him be like, oh, you don't like the buy gifts, whatever, whatever, you know. But surprisingly, last year he actually bought me birthday gift. He went all out, and I was like, ah, ah, treasure, you bought gift. I was looking at my husband. I see. I made a, you know, actually, he, when he made the video, I don't know if I put, I, I posted it here. I'm like, you bought me a gift. Ah, ah, ah. How? When <laughs> I was really surprised because that is not the kind of person. So don't push it. Don't push it. I didn't even, it's not even like a communication thing that you probably find me gifts now. I don't even really see that. Because to me, it's it's nothing to me, right? I uh, mean, because what I need that I want for myself, I buy it for myself, you know. So if you, you buy for me, it's an extra. You buy for me, you don't buy for me. I we move, you know. But I didn't I didn't dwell on it, I didn't stress myself because of it. So that's what I'm trying to say. That you know, like just focus on your marriage, focus on yourself, focus on your spouse, focus on your children, and you stay before it in place. You know, with time, the man might be decide to surprise you. You never know. One day we open, let me surprise my wife today, or let me surprise my you. You never know. So I don't know. I call somebody out there. So be happy, stay happy, stay joyful, and remember, put God first. Let God be the foundation of everything that you do today. So, I leave you all in the hand of Almighty God. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, watch my video. Um, God bless you.